A powerful transformation is underway in the world of personal computing, but it's not coming from Silicon Valley or the usual players like Intel, AMD, or Apple. It's unfolding quietly and strategically in China, led by Huawei, a company once known primarily for its smartphones. At the heart of this transformation is a processor that few outside of Asia have paid close attention to, the Kunping 920. While much of the global tech community is focused on high-profile chip announcements and flashy keynote events, Huawei has been building a parallel path. This path is grounded in self-reliance, homegrown innovation, and a determination to build an independent technological ecosystem. The Kunping 920 is more than just a microchip. It's the foundation of Huawei's effort to create a seamless, sovereign computing experience and one of the core components enabling the Harmony OS PC vision. When Huawei introduced the Kunping 920 in 2019, the initial focus was on enterprise infrastructure. This was a processor designed for cloud computing, data centers, and other high-demand, large-scale environments. Built using 7 nanometer process technology and based on the ARM V8 architecture, the chip was engineered for high throughput and energy efficiency. With support for up to 64 cores, it delivered exceptional performance in parallel processing and multitasking, ideal for the needs of enterprise clients. But global events soon shifted the context in which the Kunping 920 operated. Following a series of U.S. trade restrictions and sanctions, Huawei found itself cut off from critical technologies, including Google's Android ecosystem, certain chip manufacturing tools, and global software standards. This geopolitical moment forced the company to adapt faster than ever before. Huawei accelerated the development of Harmony OS, its cross-platform operating system, and began seeking alternatives to the Western-dominated computing stack. That included not just new software, but a complete rethink of the silicon powering its devices. This is where the Kunping 920 took on a new role. No longer limited to servers, Huawei began adapting this powerful processor for personal computers. It was an ambitious shift, repurposing a server-grade chip to run consumer applications, productivity tools, and cross-device systems. But it aligned perfectly with Huawei's broader vision. A future where the entire computing experience, from the chip to the OS to the apps, was developed in-house and optimized to work together. This vision is already being realized. Harmony OS, which many consumers still associate with smart TVs and smartphones, now extends to laptops and desktops. These Harmony OS PCs don't run on Intel chips or depend on Microsoft Windows. Instead, they're powered by Kunping 920 processors and represent Huawei's first major step into an integrated computing environment entirely on its own term. The architecture of the Kunping 920 makes it particularly well-suited for this role. Its ARM-based design provides a different performance profile compared to traditional x86 processors. While x86 chips are optimized for single-threaded performance and legacy desktop applications, ARM chips excel in power efficiency, thermal control, and multi-threaded operations. These characteristics make them ideal for mobile computing environments, especially when battery life, multitasking, and device interoperability are high priorities. The Kunping 920 also brings technical advantages that enhance the Harmony OS experience. It includes integrated support for high-speed I.O., networking, and storage interfaces. This is critical for the growing shift to hybrid cloud environments, where users expect their devices to sync effortlessly with online storage, productivity tools, and remote collaboration platforms. Additionally, the chip's compatibility with multiple operating systems, including Linux, Euler OS, and Huawei's own customized Harmony OS builds, makes it highly versatile across both enterprise and consumer markets. So, how does this all translate to the real world? Harmony OS PCs, powered by Kunping 920, have already shown strong performance in core tasks such as document editing, internet browsing, cloud-based applications, and office productivity. These machines aren't built for heavy gaming or high-end media production, but that's not the goal. Instead, Huawei is targeting a user base that values efficiency, reliability, and tight integration across devices. In environments like schools, government offices, research institutions, and enterprises, especially within China, these Harmony OS PCs are becoming increasingly popular. One of the key advantages of this ecosystem is the seamless interoperability between devices. A user can switch from a Huawei smartphone to a laptop, share files with a tablet, and collaborate on documents from a smart display, 
all without needing third-party apps or complex configurations. It's a fluid, connected experience that reflects the direction modern computing is heading. The Kunping 920 makes that possible by ensuring that performance, power management, and system compatibility all function in sync with Huawei's software. But challenges remain. One of the largest is software compatibility. While Huawei has developed solutions like App Multiplier to help mobile apps adapt to larger screens and is investing heavily in developer outreach, many mainstream applications used globally still aren't available in native Harmony OS formats. This limits international appeal for now, especially in markets where productivity relies heavily on legacy Windows or Mac OS. However, Huawei is playing the long game. By focusing on strategic sectors such as education, public administration, and regional enterprises, it's building a loyal user base that doesn't require mainstream Western apps. At the same time, it's encouraging local developers and open source communities to build tools and applications that are optimized for the Harmony OS environment. Over time, this could evolve into a fully competitive ecosystem capable of serving broader markets. In the bigger picture, the Kunpeng 920 represents more than a technical achievement. It's a symbol of resilience. It reflects how a company can face major external pressures and instead of folding, adapt by investing in innovation. Huawei's decision to build its own chips, its own operating system, and its own service layers shows a level of strategic depth that goes beyond mere product launches. It points toward a future in which more countries and companies pursue technological self-sufficiency. This shift could also influence global supply chains, software development priorities, and even regulatory frameworks as more governments and corporations seek alternatives to U.S.-centric technology models. The Kunping 920 is not just another processor, it's a foundational element of this changing landscape. For users and tech enthusiasts, this story raises interesting questions. What does a future look like where alternative platforms like Harmony OS challenge the dominance of Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac OS? What happens when high-performance chips built outside of the U.S. ecosystem begin powering mainstream devices? How will global developers respond to a growing demand for apps and services tailored to platforms like Harmony OS? If you've ever used a Harmony OS device or tested a Kunpeng-powered PC, your experience matters. Was it seamless or were there limitations? Did the performance match your expectations, especially coming from Intel or AMD-based systems? Your feedback can help shape the conversation around emerging platforms and what users truly value in their computing experience. And if you haven't tried one yet, it's worth paying attention. Huawei's ecosystem is evolving rapidly. It's still early days, but the foundation being laid with chips like the Kunping 920 could lead to a major shift in global computing over the next decade. What topic would you like to see explored next? Should we take a closer look at Huawei's Kirin mobile processors, the rise of RISC-V architecture, or how Harmony OS compares feature for feature with Android and iOS? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analysis on the technologies reshaping our world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next